Hey everyone, Jordan with VSI. I want to do a detailed run through with you on the app so you can see all the features and all the things it can do. So starting on our main screen here, this is where you're going to live most of the time is the spray screen. Um, if you have total control, I'll start at the top and work my way down. But if you have total control, uh, you can control the lights. A uh, nice thing for this year is you can control the strobe and the work light separate. So if you want to go down the road with your strobes on but not the work light, you can do that. Um, very important button here, auto or manual. Obviously, auto mode is going to be your GPS rate control. Your speed is going to dictate the application or the uh, uh, application volume versus manual mode where uh, you'll see this uh, uh, GPA or, or GPM. So in auto, this big bubble here is gallons per acre. And then when you switch to manual, it's gallons per minute. If you were to push open, that would increase it. If you were to push close, it'll decrease it. And same in auto mode. Um, it's a plus or minus, so if you want to do 80 gallons an acre, 85 gallons an acre, that's how that works. Uh, to the left there, you'll see the tank level, and that shows you how much is left in your tank. So we've already been spraying out of this one. We only have 95 gallons left. Um, hose tracking is a really cool new feature that we've been at, uh, people have been asking us for for a couple years. When you click on hose tracking, it's only going to track what's coming out of the hose reel. It's not going to track what comes out of the spray booms, and in fact, you'll see that it grays out the spray booms that don't even work. When we're done hose tracking, we turn it off and now you can use the booms again. Um, Ice Buster is in our settings menu that we'll get to, but you can preset a desired gallons per acre rate. So let's say you want to do uh, 200 gallons per acre and you have a really bad spot of your parking lot. You're doing most a lot of 80 gallons an acre. You want to hit this one spot at 200. Click the Ice Buster button. It'll automatically increase that up to that level. When you get done with that spot, you turn it off and you're done. Um, driving between sites, driving down the road, or if you're just sitting, you don't want to accidentally turn on your stuff. You can turn on your boom lock. Again, it grays out our boom section controls. And then if our, our system was on, obviously it's not right now, but if our system was on, I can control my middle, left, right booms all independently, just like you could before with our in cab controllers. So now, if we go to our um, ACC menu here, accessory menu, uh, this unit has total control, so we can control our engine. We can run our choke. We can select our throttle. Obviously, we can, we can start it. We can turn it off, we can rewind our hose reel. Um, and uh, if you don't have total control, you still can rewind the hose reel from the app, but you won't have the separate remote to do that with. Uh, if we go to our settings menu, most of these settings, uh, actually all of these settings come preset from the factory at the correct uh, rates. The only one that you're going to regularly have to interact with is this tank level. So let's say um, uh, you're, you went to your refill station, you have 94 gallons left, that's fine. You can just hit the reset. Are you sure you want to reset? It's going to reset to the standard size, which is the size of the unit that you're running. So you see I hit reset, went back to 305. Um, some of this other stuff, again, like your boom width, that comes set from the factory. That's not something you should ever have to change. Um, left, middle, right, minimum flow, it's a factory setting. Here's where we change our ice buster. So if we want our ice buster to be 200, like I talked about, we can increase it to 200. Um, servo speed, again, that's a standard setting from the factory and our flow meter cal. Those are things you shouldn't ever have to play with. There are unique situations, um, customers doing unique type lots where they need more or less responsive um, performance, and we can help you uh, change those as needed. But we recommend you don't mess with those settings unless you talk to someone from VSI. So now I'm going to save these. Uh, another cool feature is if you ever accidentally mess the settings up, you can always reset the defaults. It'll change all those back to, to what was programmed in the unit when you bought it. So now our details menu. This is a really cool feature of the app. So this allows us to track all of our jobs and we can track the amount of product we sprayed um, with our booms, how much you sprayed with our hose reels. Uh, we can name the sites. So, you know, if you want to name your site, um, let's call this VSI parking, oops, parking lot. Now we are tracking the VSI parking lot. Obviously we didn't actually spray anything, but if we did, we'd hit stop. Let's say the parking lot was super icy. We can put super icy. Oops, I'm bad at typing today. Uh, and now that job is done. Uh, we can start a new one. Call this um, VSI, we'll call it VSI parking lot again. Now it's a new job. So now you'll see up in the left side here, upper left, uh, that we've done two jobs. Let's say we're done for the night. We can submit our report and now all the data 
uh, including how much we sprayed, the uh, latitude and longitude of where we sprayed it, what time it was at. Um, all of those things can be tracked with a CSV file that you can email to yourself. So you can designate whatever email address you want for this to go to, and all of your operators can submit this, and then you have all the data. So in addition to tracking each site, uh, we can track by the event. You'll see this next one down here. The event started at 11 a.m. If we had actually done all this stuff, we would have covered you know, however many acres, however many gallons, however much hose reel. That can be reset per event. And then also uh, tracking for the season. This is great to know for your utilization. You can check at the end of the year, like how much are we actually using our spray units? Maybe you'll see a correlation between, you know, the smaller trucks are getting used more than the bigger ones. That'll help you make better purchasing decisions in the future. Um, and also on the very bottom here, a feature that we uh, have been asked for for years is engine hours. These Honda engines don't require a lot of maintenance, but it does go a long ways if you uh, do regular air filter and oil changes. So now you can actually keep track of those engine hours in an accurate manner. And depending on which unit you connect to, uh, this doesn't stay with the app, it actually stays with the spray unit. So if I were to connect to a different one that had 10 hours on it, this bottom line would change to 10. The last feature, uh, something really cool, is we have built in the ability to update our circuit boards by, by Wi-Fi. So let's say VSI comes out with something a little bit better, a little bit faster, more accurate, whatever the case may be, instead of sending you actual components, uh, you can actually connect your circuit board to, to your Wi-Fi. And when I say Wi-Fi, you can also use a mobile hotspot. Put in your mobile hotspot name or your Wi-Fi name, put in your password, um, and then connect. And once you uh, connect to a certain Wi-Fi address, it'll actually save it in there. So for next time, you don't have to type it in again. Um, and then if you were to connect the board to Wi-Fi, it would search for updates. If there were any available, wait a couple minutes, it'll update the board, turn it off, turn it back on, and now your board's the most current version. We're really excited about this wireless app-based system and what it means for the future. Having the ability to update this over the air and having the ability to use a smartphone app that we can update in real time, that really means that the opportunities are limitless. We're super excited about it and we hope you are too. If you have any questions, please check out our website or give us a call. Have a great day.